In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2SO4 plus SrNO32. This is sodium sulfate plus strontium nitrate. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see that I have two sodiums right here and just one here. So I'll put a two as my coefficient. That balances the sodiums. Now I have two nitrates, but I have two nitrates here. So that's good. In terms of sodiums, two, two, nitrates, nitrates, everything is balanced. So this is our balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. So if you know your solubility rules, sodium compounds, very soluble, AQ, this will dissolve, break apart into its ions. Nitrates, also very soluble, AQ. We have sodium nitrate, so that will be soluble. And then strontium sulfate. Sulfates in general are insoluble. There are a few exceptions like sodium sulfate and potassium sulfate, but strontium sulfate, we're gonna say that that is insoluble. So we write S, it's gonna be a solid. These things react, this falls to the bottom of the test tube. So this is a precipitation reaction and we have this solid. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. Sodium's in group one, so it has a one plus ionic charge. This whole sulfate ion is two minus, something you should remember. Two sodium ions, and then we have our sulfate ion. Strontium's in group two on the periodic table, that's two plus the whole nitrate, one minus. So I have a strontium ion, plus I have two of these nitrate ions here. So two NO3 minus, and these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. In the products, we have a plus and a minus, so two sodium ions, just like in the reactants, plus two nitrate ions. And then with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. We're just gonna write SrSO4, strontium sulfate. And this is what we call the complete or total ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So when I look at the reactants here, and I look at the products, I see I have two sodium ions in the reactants and in the products. So cross it out. I have two nitrate ions here in the reactants and in the products. Get rid of that. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for sodium sulfate plus strontium nitrate. I'll clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Na2SO4 plus SrNO32. You can see charge is balanced. We have two minus and two plus. That gives us a net charge of zero. And then over here, this is neutral compound, so a net charge of zero. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion put first in net ionic equations. It doesn't really matter, it's the same thing. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. So this is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfate and strontium nitrate. Thanks for watching.